Good morning, Stephanie Cameraman, the Stock Whisperer, here with today's Daily Dark Pool Whispers for Friday, January 15th, TGIF. I think we're all happy it's Friday, and we do have a three-day weekend, by the way. So, hope everybody uh, stays safe and enjoys their weekend, but we have plenty of trading to do today. So, let's start with the SPY, 379.50. We're going to be bullish above that level. Actually, you know what? Um, I think I want to change that. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to make a live change right now because I just noticed we had a dark pool 379.77. How come nobody told me about that in the room? I'm going to change this to 380. Um, 380.13. Yep. Live change right there. All right, my first target. Yeah, I want I want to be over there. I just realized that. All right, that's going to be my target. Yeah, I want to be above this dark pool level that we got to go long. That's how important it is. All right, we're going to be bearish below 376.50. All right, watch that key level. We're still uh, we're still higher right now. Let's go on over to the IWM. Big level, 209.64 guys, 4 million. That is the biggest level we've had in a while. If we close below that, now we're, we're above it right now by a couple dollars, but if we close below that, that is going to be uber bearish. So keep that level, draw that on your chart right now for the Russell. Um, however, day trading wise, we could do a retracement trade to that. And you can see I've put that into the whisper right here, right? That dark pull level. We could easily bounce off that. They play, like to play print pong. We saw that this week on the SPY a lot. So bullish above 213.50, bear below 211.50. For the swing trade though, watch that level, okay? That is heavy yesterday. QQQ. We will be bullish above 315.50 and bear below 312.80 for the QQQs. Let's head on over to the futures. We'll go quickly through those. The E-minis bullish above 37.87. We're in between here. Bear below 37.65. Hasn't made a move yet. The NASDAQ futures. Bull above 12,950, bear below 12,800. Yep, we're still in between that, so that hasn't made a move. We'll check out these oil futures. Yeah, they're down slightly this morning, below the pivot. Now, I just want to let you know, we had a lot of volume come in. Highly unusual on the futures, by the way. At uh, Just when they opened up early, early this morning. Um, in fact, let me just actually show you. I think I can see it on the E-minis. Uh, hold on a sec. Yeah, see this right here? Right at the open. Yeah, more volume than normal on, on pretty much all of them. Yeah, so somebody, yeah, somebody woke up early in the morning to trade today. Yeah, if you have a feeling big things are going to happen volume always is uh, is first so oil we're going to be bullish above 5350 it's all the way up here and bear below 5260 and we got gold futures lots of gold prints have been coming in gold it takes the dark pool quite a while to enter into a position you know it's probably the most frustrating thing to watch for us traders but then it has massive moves and makes it all well worth it so please be patient on that i mean we had crazy prints on gld coming in uh two days in a row so yep be prepared for a big move in gold but the gold futures today will be bullish above 1855 and bear below 1842 50. Bitcoin futures. Yeah, getting, um, well, did have a big lift and just had a pullback. Uh, we're going to be bullish above 39,000 
and bear below 38,000. We just fell below that 38,000 level. And it looks like we hit our first target, 37,500. So I do post these out individually on our Dark Pool app. So if you like to trade the futures, you definitely want to get the app so you get these right away. Let's uh, head on over to the individual stocks. So bank earnings are coming out today. I don't care what they're reporting. The only thing I care about is the price action. All right, and right now it's looking pretty red. They're all down pretty much. JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Goldman Sachs, XLF, Citibank. They're all in the red right now. Let's see if they stay in the red. If they close bearish, that's going to be bearish. If they close bullish, we're going to be bullish. Today for day trading, we'll be bullish above 143 and bear below 139.50. And we just went below that level, by the way. Let's head on over to plug. Massive, massive prints yesterday. Holy moly, 3,065.83. I also know we had uh, other prints the other day at 64 five level so this yeah watch plug uh big move happening soon bullish above 66.50 it did a nice retracement trade down to the four ema is it going to stay there and bounce up or is it going to pull down to this eight ema area so bear below 63 today we're going to go to blackberry oh bb Bullish above 11 today. We've just hit our first target, by the way, 1120. Um, bear below 10. Is it going to be a gap and go higher or a pop and drop scenario? So we'll see how that works out. Let's go to XLF, the financial ETF. Uh, it should have some action today. Bull above 3155, bear below 3125. It's already started to move down and hit our first target. See how it went right to 3112? eighths the market is still trading off those eighths we love it I teach you all about that um in the java pit also in my book now if you guys haven't gotten my book yet dark pool secrets what are you waiting for it's free all you have to do is pay for shipping if you're in the u.s uh really great great stuff in there um if you want to learn how to trade the dark pool let's go to fcel Kind of stuck in between the four and the eight right here on the daily chart. Uh, we're going to be bullish above 1750 and bear below 1650. Let's go to Wells Fargo. All right, Wells Fargo reported, and it looks like the stock is not happy right now. We're going to be bullish above 3506. Yes, 06, the 16th. We have to use that level. There's a uh, Camarilla there. Bear below 33.50, which we are hitting right now. Yeah, let's see. It's a first test. Um, let's see if, if it can hold there or not. If not, we'll go down to the 8 EMA. If we go below the 8 EMA, we'll most likely, all right, we have this gap here. Come down to this area. They like to take it to the gap strongest level and then bounce it up so that would be a, a great trade if it goes there uh, GME bullish above 40 and bear below 37 it is in between those levels right now all right let's head on over to Citibank Citibank we're going to be bullish above 70 and bearish below 67.50 yeah we'll see if uh if we do go below that yeah so watch that for ema if we go below that we'll most likely come down to the eight there all right acb we've been watching this one awesome gap up this morning is it going to be a gap and go we're going to be bullish above 13.20 and bear below 12.50 Cannabis is heating up. CGC also on the high volume this morning. Bull above 35.50 and bear below 34.75. There you have it. Those are your whispers for January 15th. I will see you guys next week. Happy trading, everybody.
my secret